Hey guys and welcome back to Infinifactory. Yes, the series is not gone, I just didn't have time to record it. So, let us, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I don't like any of the crap that I've built so far. It's been a while since I've played and I want to just go from the start again. And someone says that I should probably use the movability of factory components and I like that idea. That idea sounds fantastic. So what have we got going just now? I don't like that. I've started and I don't like whatever I've started with. So what I'm going to do is... Right, let's place this over here as a line. Okay, so that's where that is. So if we... Place that going that way. Then one... Right there. Oh. Right. Uh, can I get the input rate to zero? Because if I if I work it at zero, then ah no, I need that to be there, and as a result, those to be there. Okay, there we go. And what we're going to do is we've got four... One, two, three, and a line. Otherwise we've got one, two, three, four, five. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this all the way to, let's say, here. Right, what happens if I do that? It goes down like so okay and then can we have a lifter like here okay And what I need to do is... Right, that's one, two, three, four, five up. So that's one, two, three, four, five up. So that's the position it's going to be sitting in. Okay, and once it gets to there, I want a... Downward sensor that is going to activate a pusher here that is attached to a conveyor there. Uh, let's do that like so. And I don't know if this will work or not, but... There we go. Let's see what happens. Oh. Ah. Heck. Right. If you get a downwards pusher, that would help a lot more, but you can't, so... Um, no, actually, let's... Place us back, so I can figure out exactly what is wrong. Right, okay, so we're going to need to... Heck! Ah, better idea. Let's just do it from this side instead. Alright, so if we pull that this way and shove it like that. Alright, how does that work? Oh, look 
at that. Um, no, I need you to go yep, straight up for me. And I need to get a rotator block. Will this work? Okay. So now I'm trying to think of exactly how to do this. Um, I need... Something there like that. Ah, but not actually there because it needs to be... Two, three, four, and then along. Twists. No, it needs to be there. Okay. Those along goes up. It's pulled. Ah, and then it can't go down, obviously, because... Hmm... Hmm... Hmm indeed, Studio. Hmm indeed. Okay, can we have it so that this gets moved out of the way? No, we can't because it's on the floor. That's the issue. Uh, right, let's do it and we'll pause it again. So that pulls up and then that comes along, pulls it onto this, which twists it. It goes back along. I mean, by shoving... Let's see if there's an easier way to do this. Okay, we can get that one done. Turn it and then clear out that side there. Then if we... Shove a demo sensor here, and that can sense when that's there, and then what? Then what am I gonna do? Then I could. Let's go be calm. This is going to be a complicated solution. I can just tell you that now. Alright. I can't. I can't do what I was going to do. Um. Oh, what I could do is, instead of doing that, is I could just have an upside down conveyor here. There we go. <clears throat> then can we have a rotator there? Let's see what happens with this. 
we paint along the bottom and if we rotate it there ah okay that's that one If we rotate it there, we can then turn it this way and lift it. I mean, now we're using like the vast majority of the sides and we're getting like hardly anything done. Oh god, this entire thing is too complicated for my liking. Right, I don't like this. Definitely don't like that. I may have just removed the one little cool thing that we had going. Yeah, let's remove that. Let's go back to where we were. So that comes down, goes up. Uh. I don't know. Oops. Okay, that is not what I done. That's not what I wanted to do anyway. Okay, so we had a, a downward sensor here, I'm sure. Is that right? Yeah, we had a downward sensor there that went to a... pusher here. That had a... conveyor on it. Is that right? Okay, right, and then it done that. Hmm. Right, I don't want that being like that. I don't really want this being right at the end either. If that goes all the way down, that's on the top one, isn't it? That is right. Mm. Instead of that, should I not be? If I try to paint the front ones instead, so instead of doing it like this, right? Let's. Jesus, my brain's just working through it. If I try to paint the. Right. Okay. So instead of that, if I... Is that in line? Yes, it is. <sighs> right, if I instead grab it here... That's the edge of what I want. Two, three, four, five... Six, seven... Okay, if I do that instead... Oh my god, excuse me, Steejo. Actually try to do this properly. No, back up. If we bring it this way... No, that's still wrong. That's not what I want to do. Not what I do at all. I want to instead bring it that way, I think. Oops.
for us. I keep barking at. Um, no, okay. I need, like, that one to be maybe there. And that one to be there. Right. And, no. Right, but instead of instead of that, can we have it to be? I don't know why I had to do it this way. It's just the way my brain was working through it. Hmm. Oh my god. Right, so I've got that side getting done. Then... So that side gets done, and that side gets done. Then I need... Whatever it is, what is that? Five high, so that's the bottom one, two, three, four, five high. So, let's shove one on top, upside down conveyor, which has to go that way. One, one, two, three, four, five high. Should actually be on that level, shouldn't it? Um, apparently, these things need to be attached to something. Who'd have thunk it? There you go. Right. That goes down, paints that, goes up, paints that. That rotates. Okay, so we've now got this side. Right, and we need to. Hmm. I to pull it this way, but I don't know how that'll mess stuff up. Oh, right, of course, because that's up there that's going to spin it. Um, instead of that, can we do that? so confused right now. I could spin it the other way. No, I can I could spin it that way and then move it along the way. Uh, but then I need to Pull it back this way. Oh, for God's sakes. Two, three, four. Right, let's see what happens here. Okay, spin it. Okay, the problem still persists that this thing here. So I would really like to have this thing just be a. Uh, 
Um, be one of these that we've done before. Alright, can we get a pusher here? And an upside down conveyor. Alright, and then... have that going like so. And if we push this far enough over, are we in the right plane as well? I mean buggery, should have known that. Alright. Ah! Hmm. Ah, uh, I don't know. I mean, if I'm going to do that, I might as well have. If I'm going to need to pull it back, then I could have a couple of them. One. Oops. Two. One, two, buckle my shoe. Oops. All right. And that's done that. Now, oops, I need all of that to push it along. Shove a delay in there. Actually, it doesn't delay it at all. Um. Gonna have a block with a. a pusher. Right, and what I want is one of these maybe like there. Let's see if that'll work for us. I'm not sure if it will, but let's see. There we go, that gives a couple of second delay. <clears throat> and can we actually have this being dropped? That's. Oh, I do. Yes, and then I want to have you going that way. <clears throat> Okay, and then that's perfect. Is that perfect? I didn't even check. Come on. That is perfect. And then right down here, I need a blower. Awesome, that's has got two lines done. All right, guys, well, Jesus. That's going to have to do us for this episode, so as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CG, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.